Aiming to walk 10,000 steps a day, or any number that presents a challenge based on your current activity level, is a great way to motivate yourself to move more and to interrupt the time you spend sitting. As a result, it can have a tremendous impact on almost every part of your body. So in this video, we are going to tell you what happens when you walk 10,000 steps daily. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. It became conventional wisdom in many fitness circles a few years ago that we should all try to take 10,000 steps a day. A study in JMA Neurology found that walking about 10,000 steps a day was linked to less cardiovascular disease, heart disease, stroke, and heart failure, 13 types of cancer, and dementia. Taking 10,000 steps is about the same as walking 4 or 5 miles, depending on your stride. Still, the new research says you don't have to take that many to get health benefits. For example, 9,800 steps lower the risk of dementia by 50%, the research suggests, but taking just 3,800 a day lowers it by 25%. In fact, one study of steps per day and weight showed that people who took more steps per day weighed less, on average. Getting 10,000 steps burns about 340 calories for a 170-pound person walking at a brisk pace, which helps contribute to weight balance. Depending on your weight, walking 10,000 steps burns between 250 and 600 calories. You can use the steps to calories converter chart to estimate this for yourself. You will need to know your approximate steps per mile. Most weight loss programs recommend burning 200 to 300 calories per day in moderate to vigorous exercise. The number of calories you burn by walking depends primarily on how much you weigh and secondarily on your speed of motion. You burn more calories per minute when you get up and walk, and even more if you run. It improves your concentration. Physical activity boosts the release of feel-good hormones, like endorphins, and also increases blood flow to the brain, which results in improved cognitive function. Not only do you feel less stressed and anxious when you regularly move, but you are also working toward improving your creativity, productivity, and concentration. It strengthens your bones. Physical activity, particularly weight-bearing exercises, places extra stress on your bones, which helps improve their density and lowers your risk for osteoporosis later in life. Walking, and better yet running, are great places to start. It will strengthen your lungs. Moving each day helps strengthen your lungs and surrounding muscles. As the rate and volume of oxygen you inhale go up, so does your body's ability to use it efficiently, a measurement referred to as your VO2 max. The fitter you get, the higher your VO2 max. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now, let's get back to our topic. If you're new to tracking steps, start by tracking your average steps for a week or two. Then set a goal to push yourself above your average movement. The most important part of tracking your steps is to be mentally prepared for both the days when you don't reach your goal and the days when you exceed it. Most people achieve 10,000 steps by taking one or more sustained walks or runs, the equivalent of 30 to 60 minutes of walking. That equals the minimum daily exercise recommendation for most health authorities to reduce health risks. If you'd like to take more daily steps for health and fitness, start by determining your baseline. Track your steps for a week or so using an activity tracker or smartphone app. Many phones have a built-in step counter. You don't have to jump from 3,000 steps a day to 10,000 overnight. Once you have a sense of your daily average, aim to add 2,000 to 2,000 500 steps a day to begin, about a mile. Walking a mile burns about 80 calories for a 150-pound person. As you get comfortable with this additional exercise, lengthen your walks or take more short walks so you get closer to 10,000 daily steps. Trying to reach 10,000 steps can be a great goal to aim for, but if you are consistently getting discouraged, try re-accessing your goal. Overall, just get out and move more than you did yesterday. Little movements don't take much time and add up, and as research shows, are just plain good for you. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you liked this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.